What's up, everybody? Pat Myers here, uh, head coach with Lafayette Lacrosse. Uh, excited to be a part of Coaching Through Cancellation. Big shout out to uh, Paul Richards, Dan Shimadi, uh, John Hogan, and the entire Richmond staff for putting this together. I'm honored to be a part of it, uh, as is uh, my coaching staff. I'm going to present a couple uh, team drills, what we call energy drills, uh, that really help with the flow and tempo of our practice and really help build skill on both sides of the ball um, in a number of different ways, uh, which I hope that you'll enjoy. Uh, shout out to everybody who's uh, on the front lines. Uh, thoughts and prayers uh, are with um, the medical staffs, nurses, doctors, um, everybody out there uh, who's helping uh, fight this virus and uh, just uh, grateful uh, for everything that you do. And um, I hope the lacrosse community uh, enjoys these uh, drills that we're gonna work on and, uh, and share today. So thank you, and uh, again, thoughts and prayers with everybody that's out there. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, excited to be with you here on Coaching Through Cancellation. Today I'm going to share with you a couple of drills that we use, um, usually at the start of practice, uh, get the energy going. The first one is a 2v2 uh, to 3v2. We do this below goal line as well as on the wings. Uh, the, the drill can be varied, uh, certainly by location. Uh, what type of pick you're looking to use. It's a great way to, to work on uh, picks uh, within um, matchups or uh, the, type of, uh, the type of adjustments that you may need to make based on an opponent uh, in terms of how you want to manage a two-man game, getting over, getting under, hiding, uh, chipping, things of that nature. And from an offensive perspective, uh, a great way of working on your points of contact, your mesh point, uh, know what parts of the field you want to you want to utilize your two-man game, uh, creating some chemistry, but also building in an unsettled component uh, with with ball speed and finishing, uh, and some some really nice um, skill development there as well. Uh, so these can be big to big, big little, short to short. Uh, they can be varied, uh, you know, in terms of like I said, the type of pick and how you want to defend it, um, and then uh, you're going to have a nice. Um, you know, kind of confrontational moment at the end of the drill um, as you're creating that three on two, turning the corner, coming up the hash, uh, things of that nature. So dive into the drill here. Again, you can see some skill cues over there on the left-hand side. The player in the middle is going to be the person entering the ball into the drill. Uh, and then we'll be creating that three on two. So it starts as the 2v2. You can pick either side. They will go right into a two-man game here. You can see it's big to big. With a spike into a double, 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 into attack, right? Find your two-on-one um, and try to finish in front of the goal. Uh, defensively, obviously, you're trying to string out that that three v two. Once that takes place here, you know you have a switch. Ball gets thrown back, and the offense is immediately going to try to gain le gain leverage, climb the ladder, get up that hash, uh, and finish between the pipes. Defensively, again, you're, you're really trying to talk through these two-man games, play the ball, uh, you know, not looking over your shoulder at the pick, really you know, emphasizing that piece of it, um, getting elite LED, loud, early, decisive communication, if you can, you know, from the picker, from the defender who's defending the picker, uh, and really talking uh, and building trust you know, with that on-ball defender. Uh, and then rolling right into an unsettled scenario that's going to create rotations, arrivals, uh, communication for the defense, uh, ball speed and skill, uh, certainly for the offense. That middle line, you don't want that middle line to be stagnant. As soon as they enter the ball, they want to be communicating with uh, their teammates. Although they don't have anybody guarding them, they're going to continue to communicate with them on what's going on. It's a great opportunity to teach, you know, your offensive guys how to utilize the crease in the cage as a pick as well, uh, create some visual obstructions that way, uh, and really just create some connection uh, and some chemistry within your two main games. Then you can go long, short, short, long. Stick work, footwork, loaded, finish in front, defensively. This is a tough drill. I mean, you've got to manage a two-man game. You've got to talk. You've got to communicate. Nice job there. Playing the ball. Good communication. Slow play. Try to rotate, arrive, and steal one. 
Really nice energy drill. And again, this can be done on the wing. Uh, this can be done below goal line. Um, it can be done, uh, you know, really anywhere on the field that you want. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll change this and vary this, maybe depending on opponent, where they like to set picks, uh, and, and certainly offensively where we may want to focus our attention in terms of how we want to set picks. Obviously, there's several different ways in terms of how to play the pick. And, and defensively, you know, we're getting strung out in, in some of these clips, and obviously we're not doing a great job of just, you know, staying home and, and scraping and uh, slow playing in the three on two, but going from an even to an uneven scenario uh, can be can be difficult, certainly uh, for the defense. So it forces that communication, you know, get that last poke in there. Good physical confrontation right there. Never matriculated into a three on two. Again, we just preach loud, early, decisive. A lot of different ways to play picks, but you've got to pick one, you've got to live with it, uh, and you've got to be willing to to be decisive early on uh, and have a high level of communication with your teammates. And the on-ball defender has to really trust that that picker is going to tell him what to do. I mean, your job as the on-ball defender is to play the ball, create an edge, get hands on at your landmarks. And, you know, we're a big fan of drills where we can get multiple things done at one time. You know, if, if we can get a two-man in an even scenario done uh, and, a, and a nice uh, unsettled component to it. Um, as I said at the beginning, you can start this off of a ground ball. I've had the guy in the middle roll the ball out to uh, the guys on the wings uh, for a one-on-one -on -one ground ball. They then pick it up um, and, and then we'll roll right into uh, the, the 2v2 pick into a 3v2. Um, so we've done it. We'll slow the pace of the drill down a little bit, but we'll create a live ground ball uh, in one of those scenarios. The next drill is a drill uh, that Coach Bita brought us uh, from Rutgers. Uh, we call it 44 Hot. Uh, this is the setup over here on the left-hand side. And uh, as you can see, you have uh, the defense there in a box and the offense in a diamond. Uh, this is this is an, an awesome drill. I love this drill. It really incorporates everything that you would want, uh, I think, on both sides of the ball from a skill development perspective as well as playing fast. Uh, the ball is going to be entered into any one of these four offensive guys by a coach, uh, and I'll typically have a bucket of balls and be firing the ball into one of the four guys. You can see there's a cone in the middle here where the defense is supposed to touch the cone and then work back out and find their matchup. Typically three poles and one short stick and one of the four lines are in uh, at the same time. Um, it's a great way to turn up your slide temperature. Uh, we call it 44 hot because the short stick is a hot matchup. So the short stick uh, is gonna be someone we're gonna slide to in this drill. Uh, we're gonna assume it's a matchup that we wanna go to um, and we're gonna really create tempo defensively um, with rotations, recoveries, arrivals, uh, and really uh, turn, turn up the volume there. And offensively, uh, the goal is to, the ball has to move twice. That's one of the rules of the drill. Uh, and you want to find your matchup. You want to find that hot matchup right away. So you want that ball to move twice. Ideally, it has to move twice. That's the rule. Uh, and then you want to find that hot matchup, attack it, you know, and then throw the ball through the slide, keep it simple, hit singles, um, and, and really play with great ball speed um, and, and soak some checks, get up the hash. I mean, this is going to be an adjacent, you know, slide package. One really important rule of this drill is there are no picks in this drill, no picking allowed. All right, we want to find that hot matchup. We want to attack it. We want to bang that ball twice and get that thing moving. Defensively, you got to get in. You got to get out with urgency. You can see there's a little bit of confusion here defensively. We want to get hands on, got to set our edge, and then rotate and recover, and then break down. Which is obviously the hardest part of the drill for the defense on that recovery. A lot of entries and exits in and out of your approaches. Those quick dodge approaches and recoveries in this drill are going to really stress your fundamentals and create a scenario where you've got to. 
got to really break down uh, and trust your teammates. Puts an emphasis on one stops, getting the ball up and out. Then ball moves twice, find that hot matchup. And offensively, hopefully you can, can soak a check and finish. Defensively, we're going to be flying around here. Rotate, recover, find that hot matchup again, and go. Rotate, try and recover, steal one, get a nugget. And really just, I think this drill is great because it identifies matchups, builds a connection on offense, really, I think, emphasizes the proper and basic spacing offensively that you're looking for uh, and, and promotes just playing fast, great ball speed. and skill development. Defensively, the loaded sticks is really important, you know, trying to steal um, and, and knock one down in a passing lane. Talked a lot about breaking down on approaches. You can see a really, you know, kind of tough approach there and the offense taking advantage. Uh, you're going to get hangs in this drill because uh, you're slow playing a little bit below goal line. Really emphasizes that inside out um, recovery for the defense. You know, really stepping to the interior of your defense on your approach angle. Um, try to keep that guy underneath. Pretty nice job there defensively, staying with it, sliding, recovering, rotating. Usually kill the drill uh, pretty quickly. Uh, if there's a ground ball, uh, we, we let it play out. But, the, you know, this is a tiring drill for the defense. They've got to really suck it up. They've got to get in, touch that cone, get out, close down passing lanes, break down. Really nice job there by the short stick, being under control. And although the guy still gets an eight or nine yard shot, um, you know, he's under a little bit of duress and, and maybe from a lower angle. Offense is doing a lot of drifting here, loaded sticks, not a lot of cradling. Ideally, we're working 11 to 1 with our passing. And if, if, you're, if you're not on point, uh, from, from an offensive skill standpoint, with the defense playing fast, you're, you're probably going to turn the ball over. So, you know, can you play fast without... You know, driving the car off the road, I, I think, is, is important offensively in terms of breaking down your matchup, finding those windows. As Coach Beadle likes to say, finding green and then finishing between the pipes. A lot of communication, obviously, both sides of the ball. Double, double, double. You know, one more. Drift, drift, drift. You know, finding that extra pass is key, but also knowing when it's time to step in and, and finish the drill is going to be super important. You do get some flybys in this drill. Again, no picks, no hard, hard picks are allowed, so you will get some flyby scenarios. And stick work will get exposed if it's not where it needs to be. Great energy drill. This is a drill that we really like to do at the start of practice. As I said at the beginning, you know, after we've warmed up, uh, you know, maybe you've done some stick work, done some shooting, and you want to tie it all together on both sides of the ball, uh, done some maybe slide progressions defensively, uh, and really trying to create tempo, energy, and just a play fast, uh, play hard, play physical, um, one stops, get the middle mentality, for your team. So those are two energy drills that, that we really like to, to utilize at Lafayette. Uh, again, a couple different ways of looking at it. One involves picks, one doesn't. Uh, one is an even to an unsettled, uh, and one is really gonna create tempo and hopefully teach uh, proper spacing and fundamentals offensively as well as uh, landmarks, sliding and arrivals defensively. And those are two staples for us uh, that we've really enjoyed and will continue to use at Lafayette. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions on either drill.